Hey what's up YouTube, this is Watch Junkie. Today I'm going to review that watch. Quick wrist check, I'm wearing my orange Orient Ray Raven, which I'll do a separate review. I want to talk about this watch. This is the Orient Starfish, reference number FEMJ003B. And let's talk about the features. This is an analog mechanical automatic watch with 316 stainless steel case construction, a mineral crystal, unsigned non screw down crown, a day adjustment pusher, screw in exhibition case back with folded stainless steel bracelet, which I will talk about later. This is powered by an Orient in-house movement and that is the caliber 46943 which is a 21 jewels beats at 21,600 vibration per hour 40 hour power reserve self winding non hand winding and non hacking with a day date complication This watch is rated 50 meters water resistant this is the bracelet that came with the watch and it is a 3-link folded stainless steel with a push release fold over clasp and two micro adjustments. All brushed finish. Better than the TriStar Vegas bracelet but it's still folded which gives a very noisy rattling sound while on the wrist. I upgraded it to an SKX aftermarket Solid Links Jubilee bracelet. A simple bands on the end link fitted the watch not perfectly though but I can live with it it also has a double deployant clasp with push release let's talk about the dial it is a black sunburst dial but because of the play it's almost an anthracite color the Orient logo and brush till our indices are applied. The name Orient, automatic, water resist, date, window, and minute track are all printed. The pencil shape, polished hour and minute hands are loomed, while the polished thin second hand has no loom. We also have a matte black colored sloping chapter ring with loom hour markings. There are no loom on the indices. The watch has a good finishing brushed on top, sides, and the date pusher. We have polished unsigned crown and back case. There are some laser etching of information on the side of the exhibition case back. Now for this bracelet, it is brushed side links polish center links the sides are polished clasp is brushed on top polished on the sides the extra pusher is for the day adjustment as you can tell here and date adjustment is on the first position of the crown looking at the dimensions the case has a 42 millimeter diameter without the crown Lug to lug is just over 47 millimeters. Thickness is about 11.5 millimeters and a lug opening of 22 millimeters. The bracelet is a 22 millimeter and it tapers to 18 back to 20 on the clasp, while the original bracelet is also 22 millimeters but tapers to 20 and back up to 22 on the clasp. Okay, so let's check the loom. I will compare it again to this Seiko SNN215P1. And let's charge it up. Okay, hour and minute hands are loomed. Also, the hour markings on the chapter ring are loomed. Because of the small surface area on the markings, the loom is not as bright compared to the Seiko. But Orient Loom lasts the whole night, very close to Seiko Lumi Bright, in my opinion. And giving you a perspective on how it sits on a 6.5 wrist, it has some wrist presence, 
looks big because of the large crystal area but overall it's still wearable so there you have it this is the orient starfish no point of mentioning the reference number again because it's really long orient needs to work on their reference numbers if you find this video helpful give me a thumbs up if you want to know more about my reviews in the future hit subscribe and also follow me on instagram at watchjunkie99 if you have any questions or any suggestions just leave a comment down below and again this is watchjunkie saying keep watching bye bye now